David Livingstone was a Scottish missionary and explorer who spent 33 years in the heart of Africa. He endured much suffering as he labored to spread the gospel and open the continent for missionaries. His life in Africa was filled with endless anxiety, sickness, suffering, and danger. He willingly gave up the comfort and conveniences that he had back in Scotland and chose rather to suffer for the Lord in Africa. Despite all of this, do you know what this godly missionary said? It's quite profound. He said, People talk of the sacrifice I have made in spending so much of my life in Africa. Can that be called a sacrifice which is simply paying back a small part of a great debt we owe to our God, which we can never repay? It's not a sacrifice, but a privilege. It is nothing compared to the great sacrifice that Jesus made when he left his Father's throne in heaven to give himself for us. Let's ask ourselves, what do we consider a sacrifice in our lives? Sometimes aren't we guilty of thinking ourselves as having sacrificed a lot? But do we really understand the depth of the word? The word sacrifice comes from two Latin words, sacrum and facia, which means to make holy. Do we realize that it required a sacrifice to be made in order that we could be made holy? And that true sacrifice was made by our Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this for a moment. The Almighty God, creator of all, became a humble mortal, subjected himself to be hated by the very man he loved, surrendered himself to be gruesomely killed on the cross by the very man he came to save, being completely sinless, took on all the abominable sins of this man, all so that this man that he loved so much could have forgiveness from God and receive eternal life, and that he too could live with him in eternity. So this, my friend, is what sacrifice truly is. So no matter what you may have given up in life, remember, it can never be comparable to what our Lord Jesus has sacrificed for us. Instead, let us ask the Lord that he give us the ability to love selflessly and learn to sacrifice for the good of others, just the way that he did. Let us live a life that reflects Christ.